All right, let's discuss SAT math problem. So we have uh, 10 positive integers, all of them less than 60. We have nine of them. And we know that the mean, mean means the average of nine is 42. What else do we know? We know that the mean of the data set itself, which means the mean of the 10, is an integer. So that's important and greater than 42. So the question is, what is the value of the largest integer from this data set? So we need to find all 10 of them and pick the maximum, right? All right. So let's say that our unknown one is x, right? So now, if the average of 9 of them is 42, and if I add 1 for and then take the average, if it becomes greater than 42, it would mean, it means that x is more than 42, right? Because if x is equal to 42, then the mean would be, again, 42. If x is less than 42, I would get uh, the mean of the 10 less than 42. But since the, we have mean of 10 more than 42, which means my x must be more than 42. But I also, also know that it's bounded by 60. So what do we get? We get x is between 42 and 60. Moreover, we know that x must be an integer, right? All right. Now, how about this? So we know that mean of the 10 is uh, mean of the 10 is uh, integer. Uh, okay, so how, how do we, are we going to do that? Well, so basically I have, uh, let's look at, assume that this is like the sum of the uh, 9, right? Let's look at all the, this considered as a sum. So what we know is this sum of the 9 divided by 9 is 42. That's what we know, right? Uh, right, so now, what does it mean? Well, this means the sum of the 9 terms is 42 times 9, uh, which is 378, right? So now, if I add x to them, and then take the average means divide by them, so this must be integer, right? integer and we know that it's bigger than 42 right so then we need to look at what is the sort of the x that makes it uh, an integer so it means x plus 378 is divisible must be divisible by 10 well uh, what are the options 42 if x is equal to 42 it would be divisible but since x is bigger the next my candidate would be 52 the next candidate would be 62 and so on and so forth. But it cannot be more than 60, so we cannot allow 62, which means my x must be 52. Now, we need to look at which one is largest. So here, all my values are is less than 50, but this is 52, so my answer is uh, 52.